Now who born this fine girl? Choi! Hey, almost see as picking fresh. See as person picking come fine. Hey babies, how are you all doing? Welcome back to sale with Mimi Shosti Mimi where you get the gist. As he they do waiting, as he they hurt. Of course, you know they are not sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot. See, guys, a quiet bomb is raining. See, see. And don't you chimo? See, your person picking fine. Oh, oh, mo. Guys. You know, this gig of um Doi and CC is actually brewing a lot, but we're going to talk about that, you know. So watch this video to the very end so you don't miss any gist at all. First off, I am here to tell you guys that Big Brother Nzanzi audition is close, Stephanie. You know, I told you guys then when it was, I started when they posted it for the first time, when it was like two days to go, and now it is close. And we all know the drama they created even for this particular show. It may seem as though this Nzanzi uh, ego carry a whole lot of drama because they started creating drama while they start using Kosi of VB Titan to, to advertise the upcoming Nzanzi instead of using Mpoa Badimo who won the Big Brother Nzanzi in the last season. So people were coming for them. They are like, oh, you're supposed to use um, Mpoa Badimo, who was the previous winner, and now you guys are using Kosi Twala, who was just BB Titan winner. They were like, You guys should come out play, you no? Know, if you guys promoted Mzanzi with Titan, BB Titan, so that we will know. The drama that this thing caused, eh, no be here at all, though. You know, they called Kosi out, Taya, saying, I'm poor position, she go take, oh. I'm like, there is no how it's Kosi's fault now that they um, they called her for it. It's, it's just simple. They even posted her YouTube video that I also shared here on my channel. Anyways, they posted this and said, and now we give Big Brother his space to cook. They said they have done theirs, the audition, advertising and everything. It is biggest turn to cook. We can't even wait. I can't wait personally. Still talking about Kosi. Um, I told you guys about Kosi winning two awards the last time for the social media award. And guys, guess what? It may seem as though the Kosi race has found a man for Kosi. As Amelia said, this is the first person I am seeing with Kosi post show. And I want to ship her with. He's an award-winning director. They look so cute. And this they had a video of the guy hugging Kosi so tight. As in the, the hug no be here. Guys, guess what? The Kosi race took that person and they don't go the guy page. They start checking the guy out and everything. They said this is who Kosi has hugged you know showed publicly i'm like how did she, she tell you guys that oh this thing is my man or something um kosi is a big deal said who else want, went to his ig page to check him out cupcakes he looks like he gives a good hugs like he gives good hugs but guys eh, it is how you people always want to ship your faves oh i want to know what is happening in your faves life romantically what's in the sop eh? It's just giving like some of you guys do not even have romantic whatever going on in your life that you focus on that of your faves. Anyway, starting when the Madiba said, Hey guys, I haven't forgotten about you guys. I am still trying to come up with a more convenient way of shipping product without being too expensive. Simple. Yes, it's kind of like she took a, a break. You know, of course, shipping is not easy. She was asking the other time that how would one ship things and it would not be that expensive because people have been complaining on how shipping, the cost of shipping is just as high as, you know, more than even higher than the what you're even selling, you know. So you guys should calm down for Mutati Wendy Madiba. All right, coming from Messiake's wife. Saw some people saying I abandoned my baby Kanaga Jr. When BB Titan reunion starts, we shall know if I left him or not. Or more. I can't wait too. I think this year we've gotten all the buzz balls, drama that Biggie and Multi Choice would give us. We are now awaiting next year. Anyways, guys, um, they've been calling out our Dekunle. If you watched my previous video, you would see where I was discussing about what shippers did to Bad Boy Dex and how they said him and Mercy is knocking. But right now, they've been calling him out. Let's read this from Big Love. Adenita ship has finished Ade with cause. God, I bear go my opinion. Why did Ade post this? You and Venita are friends in the house. Whatever happens outside the house is okay. Posting this show you aren't mature enough to handle friendship and relationship and you had no reason. Posting that if you didn't have malicious intent. Some big brother guys. Now, some persons came with this notion that 
adequately know what he is doing, that he's just a corny man, that what he's doing here is just trying to get heads together. Okay, let's see the reply from Ade Tutu. He is well in his rights to react, my lady. I mean, nothing immature about his writing. The fans are the ones to chill. His life does not revolve around Veni alone. The housemates are free, allowed to interact with one another, Haba. And then Big Love replied and said, Why did Ade post that particular DM, Doi and Mercy? He is looking for fan work. Guys, do you think so too? I will, please, I would love to hear your take about all of this. Do you think Ade Clay is looking for a fan work or he just, you know, did his thing? You know the shippers can be a lot sometimes. You can imagine the insult they were raining on him in his DMs because he is chilling with people who are not cool with Venita. And then Big Love said, block them and move on. Posting it not nice when you are cool with Venita. Now she's saying this and I'm trying to relate, you know, I am trying to relate that, oh, she might, she's making sense so because, you know, it's looking like Vanessa will feel a kind of way like this guy posting this right now. Are you trying to tell me that, oh, that um they should feel like, yes, she, he's not supposed to be with these people and let Mercy and doing it that she posted about then their fans will be like, you see what Vanessa fans are doing. I'm trying to get it. But at the same time. In as much as Sadikule has been seen as somebody who is, even from his previous season level up, the same as somebody who is this kind of person that will bite you and still blow breeze on it, you know, that he's this person is like this, like just like a chameleon, you know, like a wolf in a sheep clothing, he will come up this way and appear the other way, you know, that he would just lit the fire like this and act like, uh-uh, waiting they happen. You know, most of the house may complain that about him. Sissy said that, Alex said that too, you know, that he would just lit it up and then, he will go off. That, that's what he's trying to do. Do you think so? But at the same time, I wanted to accept what um, Big Love said. But now, what if got to my head? I'm like, what if, you know, he's just acting based on his emotions? Anyways, tell me what you think in the comment section. Okay, out from Adekule's own. Congratulations to Doi as she hit 600k on Instagram. She said, just realize I hit 600k. Whoop, whoop. Thank you to each and every one of you following me when i saw this do you know what entered my head you know me i always say the truth i'm like nah this life eh everything that get level though there are some certain houses who their own is in millions you know why some are still growing last last you know everybody should be appreciative of what they have now talking about doing eh, they've been coming for doing and cc why because of this acquired bomb gigs they had you know they are like oh this gig no jig this gig is not expensive this the money is cheap these ones are going for cheap deals i was just hearing these things if I see people saying that, I will go to their profile to check them. You would see somebody that you are not even sure if that person even have 100K in their account. I am telling you. And you're coming for housemates who are making their money. And you're saying the, the gig is small, is this and that. Anyways, Boozy said, now I get why Ile Baye said no to this gig. The pay was really low and I heard Mercy said no too. And then Toons replied and said, even if the deal was 500 million, one kobo of it won't enter your account. Pathetic. And that is on a period. You know, you come on this housemate, you come off and say whatever you want to say. You laugh at them. You look for every little opportunity because of they are not your fave. You just want to make more care of them. Whether it's 10 kobo, 5 kobo, or any amount, the koko is they are doing well for themselves and they are adding more value to their life. You hope you're adding value to your life too or you're just a keypad warrior. That is the question you should ask yourself. So talking about keypad warrior, we all know angels. Did I tell you guys, not just you guys, about angel going to Dubai? Mm -hmm. So she traveled to Dubai, you know, meet up with a friend and all of that. She has been having fun in Dubai and people have been coming for her. They are like... Eating shit in Dubai for soft life. You know, there is this gist that were going on that time that ladies travel to Dubai, they would go to other men and they would, they can even excrete and give people to eat, ladies, their ladies to eat after they will still, you know, do some things with them, knock them on top of it. Now, this is what they are calling Angel for. That she has gone there, that's what she has gone to do, you know. Because of they claim during their reunion, things that happened, there was this this that go that they said somebody knocked some men for so 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 amount, you know. I don't just want to go into details, but that's why they've been calling her Olo Show, you know, and all of that. Do you know what Olo Show is? <laughs> if you do not know, please ask your neighbor. <laughs> So yeah, they've been calling Angel out. They are calling her out, and baby girl is busy living the baby girl's lifestyle, and that is on a par.
this brand between Mercy AK and Maria Chike Benjamin has gotten people like talking, talking, talking. You know, um, Maria said bribery and corruption is not good. Someone tell a true Mercy AK to stop bribing me with money and gifts. We don't want. And Marana has denounced her as godmother. Away, waiting Mercy do or I beg go. And then she replied and said, Good morning, Amarana, love. They, they not born you well to denounce me. <laughs> My duties as your godmother. Your mother was all mine before you came. Just macharanya give veil. It means just respect yourself there. I love your mom, but I love you more. See you soon, heartbeat, you know. So they were just doing this banter. People were like, oh, wait. So even Maria accepted to give, uh, to allow Mercy be the godmother of the son. After Mercy went to date um, Pere. Then now, wow, Maria has a heart of gold and all of that. And I post. Guys, I post again and again. I'm like, are you trying to say because of Maria and Pere wanted to have a thing? In fact, that time Maria is still with her man, Kelvin, the man, the, the father of her baby currently, you know, for something they did in the house. So that didn't work. Then Pere, um, Mercy, because of that, she's not supposed to have anything to do with Pere. Oh, my, eh, everybody needs to cure their craze last last so you know and it's so sweet to know that maria and maria was one housemate that stood there for mercy she she campaigned for mercy till the very end like so seriously you know so yeah she never gave up even when seeing the way even during the last week she was still campaigning so people trying to bring that narrative it's so sweet to see that maria did not let that narrative build up in her head but this one that she's jokingly saying the nurse has got more that would like to know what mercy did though because this play play something first day is and talk true she might really not want Pere for mercy it's possible you know because of the kind of way he perceived she perceived um, Pere. but at the same time of course she knows she cannot tell mercy the life she chose to live for herself anyways guys i'll be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later and i really hope you're having a good tuesday a mimiciously tuesday bye for now guys